In this presentation, we're going to do a review question from multivariable calculus. So here we've got a constant R and the pressure P, volume V and temperature T of a gas are related by this formula. Suppose we increase the volume by 6% and we decrease the temperature by 10%. This question asks us to do two things. Use calculus to determine an approximate percentage change in the pressure. And then part two is quite interesting. It asks you to improve your approximation through elementary calculations. So this kind of suggests that this problem may actually be done better by non-calculus methods. So the, the point of having one and two there is just to compare the methods and their accuracy. Okay, so I think a little kind of subtext in this question is, you know, don't just blindly assume that uh, the method we've learnt in lectures is the best, necessarily the best method for these problems. So we're going to work through this and we'll compare the two um, estimations. So we want to talk about the, uh, approximate the percentage change in P. So let's make P a function of T and V. Now, V is increased by 6%. So what does that mean? Well, let delta V represent the change in the volume. This means that delta V over V is 0 0.06. And the temperature is decreased by, te decreased by 10%. So let delta T be the change in the temperature we can summarize this as delta T over T is minus 0.1. Use calculus to determine an approximate percentage change in P. Now, these kind of methods for part one uses a tangent plane approximation. That's all it is. Okay, so you're approximating some sort of surface, if you like, by a tangent plane. Uh, so let's see how we do it. So let delta P be the corresponding change in the pressure. The change in the pressure is approximately equal to dp dt times the change in temperature plus dp dv times the change in the volume. Okay, by the subscripts here I mean sort of partial derivative. So p sub t is dp dt, partial derivative. p sub v is dp dv, partial derivatives. Okay, so what we can do is calculate these partial derivatives just from this form and then we can um, uh, divide by the pressure and that will form some sort of approximation to the percentage change in the pressure. Okay, so dp dt, well let's differentiate this with respect to t R is a constant, imagine V is a constant, just differentiate normally. So this, d, dp dt, for this will be R over V. dp dv, well, differentiate this. R is a constant, imagine T is a constant, differentiate with respect to V. So we'll get a minus sign out the front and a V squared on the bottom. Okay, so let's take this approximation and divide it by P. And then just with a little bit of algebra, 
we can come up with um, uh, an approximation. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this and divide it by p using this representation. Now, instead of dividing, let's multiply through by the reciprocal. Now, if you expand that bracket, you'll see lots of cancellation take place. Okay, the first term is just going to be left with a delta t on t. And the second term is going to be delta v on v. So, what's delta t on t? Uh, minus 0.01. Delta V on V, 0 0.06. So, an approximation for the percentage change in the pressure would be a decrease of 16%. Okay? Now that's only an approximation, and we've used calculus methods to come up with it, essentially the, uh, the idea of a tangent plane. But let's have a look at part two and see if actually we can use elementary methods to come up with a slightly more, um, a, a better approximation if you like. Okay, so... Let's have a look at some at, at a real simple approach. Let's denote the new um, pressure by say P sub nu. Now, according to this representation. The new pressure is just R times the new temperature divided by the new volume. Now, the new temperature is a decrease of 10% over the original temperature. And the new volume is a 6% increase over the original volume. So, Let's write this in terms of the following. That the new temperature will be 0.9 of, say, the original temperature. So you could put T sub old here if you wanted to. I'm just going to put T. The new volume is a 6% increase over the original or old volume. 1.06 times V. Now if I just do a little bit of algebra here, I'll get the following. And what's RT on V? Well, that's just P. Say that's the, the original pressure. So, to work out the new pressure, all I need to do is simplify this fraction here. If I can use my calculator and get pretty much an exact value. Well, if I plug it in and suitably rounded off, I can come up with the following. 0.849p. So, let's round that off again to say 0.85. So actually, we've come up with a better approximation now. The change in the pressure 
will be approximately 15 percent. Approximately 15 percent. Well, you can get a pretty much an exact value for that. Okay? I mean, the only thing, I've just, I've just rounded it off. Okay? So the thing is, actually, if you didn't have to round this off, you could get an exact, an exact value for the percentage change in pressure. Okay? So this is designed to show you some of the limitations of calculus when it comes to these, these approximations. They can be accurate, but sometimes there's a, there's a more direct, a simpler method and you get a, get a closer or a better approximation.